It's not exactly what you'd call a high speed chase, but new video shows sheriff deputies up on tramway in Central helping out a Sprouts grocery store after someone took off on one of their motorized shopping carts last night. News 13's Natalie Wattis spoke with BCSO and has this story. Whoever stole the motorized cart from this Sprouts over here somehow made it across four lanes of central traffic, but they didn't get far after that. Somebody ran off with one of our motorized carts. Keep an eye on oh, you see an abandoned okay. cart because okay. the battery only lasts so long and it's not like really a getaway machine. Around 10 o'clock last night, this woman in the video, an employee at Sprouts on Tramway and Central, flagged down Deputy Philip Levison about the missing cart. We saw them leave the camera zone headed this way. When? Uh, about, it was probably about eight. The employee telling Deputy Levison and Sergeant Felicia Maggard she'd already taken a look around to no avail. And you, it has how long that battery life? I don't know, it depends on how long it's been running before they took it. Yeah. It's not, you know. It's not far. The motorized cart worth around $3,500. The employee saying it's a large chunk of her manager's budget. So good old fashioned police work kicks in. They start canvassing the area, start looking at different hotels in the area and different places that they've seen. Then they find it at a hotel just across the way. <laughs> but look, like it doesn't move. At first, deputies thought it was dead. BCSO saying a good Samaritan on the scene showed them oh, it actually was charged it. and how to use it. Oh, you have to be sitting on that. That woman drives it over and a hotel security guard helps deputies load up the missing cart onto a security vehicle. BCSO acknowledges while it may not be the biggest bust. The little things are some of the biggest. It's what is required of us to build trust within the community, build trust with business partners. And I think that's what Sheriff Allen was really doing by putting that substation in the area and making sure that our deputies are seen all the time, that they're driving through the area and checking in with people. I like this job a lot. <laughs> BCSO says Sheriff John Allen put the substation in this area, which is technically in APD's jurisdiction, to handle calls for service like these. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. And the deputy you heard there responding, Deputy Philip Levinson, is the brother of Bernalillo County Sheriff's Deputy Michael Levison, who died in that Metro 2 helicopter crash last summer. No one has been arrested in connection with the cart theft.